Let's pray. We praise you, God our Father, for sending Jesus Christ into the world to be the Saviour of mankind. At this happy season of the year, we rejoice at his coming and we remember his words that he would come again. Make us ready to receive him and willing to work for the day when people throughout the world will worship him as King of Kings. Amen. Good morning, uh, it's Mr Fenn here and welcome to our Christmas collective worship. Uh, I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes uh, talking to you and introducing uh, our Christmas collective worship to us now. Um, so, Christmas. The first Christmas happened over 2,000 years ago um, and it was when Jesus came into the world. Christians have celebrated this day um, every year for hundreds of years. Um, to remember the day when Jesus was born. Um, it's recorded in the Bible uh, in the Gospel of Matthew. Uh, it's recorded in the Bible in the Gospel of Luke as well. Um, now, the way in which he was born was miraculous, really. Uh, an angel came and spoke to um, Mary and promised her that she would be with a child and that she was to call this child Jesus. And all throughout the Old Testament, um, that points to uh, a saviour, a rescuer, uh, and Christians obviously see that Jesus as the rescuer and the saviour. In Luke's gospel, it talks about Joseph and Mary uh, travelling from Nazareth to Bethlehem for a census. And a census is obviously where you um, go back to your birthplace and you record uh, some information. That's what they used to do back in those days. Censuses these days uh, happen in uh, different ways but they do, they do still happen these days now 60 miles um, in those days is a long time um, there were no cars back in those days so 60 miles um, would have taken a long time in this country 60 miles might be the, uh, the distance between say Brentwood and Brighton on the south coast um, and Jesus was also born in a stable there was no room for him uh, at the inn that they tried to find um, he was born in a stable and that says a lot about Jesus um, and his character. Lots of people thought that he was uh, a king that was going to be uh, born in a palace and uh, be this uh, royal figure uh, that everybody would uh, bow down and worship. Uh, but actually he was born in a humble stable, um, still a king, uh, but a humble king. Now, um, you've had a brief introduction from me, Christmas the day that Jesus was born, uh, oh, Christians wow. celebrate it each year. Um, and I've talked to you a little bit about uh, Mary and Joseph and the census uh, and the fact that Jesus was born in a stable. But let me hand over to uh, Lucy Grundy and Louis Stephen uh, for our reading from the Bible. A reading from Luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 20. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them at the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were greatly afraid. The angel said to them, do not be afraid for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David, a saviour who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, 
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth good will toward men. So it was, when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem, and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child, and all those who heard it marvelled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, as it was told them. Thanks to Lucy and Louis for reading to us today. Lucy and Louis are the head girl and head boy at Beckett Keys, and I was talking to them the other day about their experience of the year. Being head boy and girl in the middle of the coronavirus has led to it being very different to what they imagined. I think we're all getting used to the fact that nothing's the way it should be at the moment. Recently, the image on the screen was shared in a staff WhatsApp group. The image reminds us that Christmas is going to be a simple one this year. Perhaps that's not such a bad thing. The first Christmas was that way. Perhaps the simplicity of this Christmas may actually bring us closer to God. Our journey to Christmas has been a tough one this year. And so it was for Mary and Joseph in that first ever Christmas, a difficult journey towards Christmas Day. But let's make sure that this Christmas Day, we recognise who Jesus is, just like those shepherds that we heard about. Maybe in the simplicity a different sort of Christmas this year, we can be closer to God. In the name of the, the Father, Father, the Son, and the, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now I'm going to hand over to some of our senior prefect team who are going to lead us in our prayers. There's a response where you need to follow along with the words that are on the screen. We thank you, God our Father, for the wonder of the story of the first Christmas. May the same wonder fill our Christmas with comfort and joy this year. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. We think of the journey to Bethlehem and the hardships we have experienced this year as we have journeyed to Christmas. Keep us preserving in the same way that you kept Mary and Joseph travelling towards their goal. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, hear our prayer. The birth of the baby was difficult, with no room in the inn. Help us make room for Christ in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, hear our prayer. prayer. We think of the shepherds and wise men who came to see the new baby and were the first to recognise his true identity. Help us, like them, to understand the mystery of how you came to be with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Help us to offer Jesus the best gifts that we, in thankfulness, for all he gave for us. We ask it in his name. Amen. 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 Thanks for being with us this morning, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed our time of worship together. And it just leaves me to say, Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, everyone. I hope you enjoy your holiday. Merry Christmas, everyone, and we'll see you in the new year. <laughs>